Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve really nice integral. Okay, this is the integral. So, integral from 0 to 1, 1 over x, natural log of. Uh, inside of the parenthesis, we have a product. Okay, uh, let's generalize this integral. So, I'm going to take uh, i is equal to integral from 0 to 1. Uh, here, 1 over x. 1 over x now inside of the parenthesis we have a product so i'm going to use uh, product sign here pi uh, when uh, m is equal 1 to n now here we have 1 minus m root of x over 1 plus m root of x and here dx now uh, we know when m is equal 1, we have 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Uh, m is equal 2, we have this part. m is equal 3, we have this part. Okay, so uh, no problem. Well, uh, then here we have uh, natural log of product. In our previous videos, we also discussed natural log of products means uh, sum of natural log natural log of uh, product is equal to sum of natural log okay uh, okay i will explain so if we take uh, this part uh, here natural log of uh, product m is equal 1 to n 1 minus m root of x over 1 plus m root of x is equal to here natural log of now when m is equal 1 we have 1 minus x over 1 plus x when m is equal 2 we have 1 minus square root of x over 1 plus square root of x uh, then we know this is going to uh, last term 1 minus nth root of x over 1 plus nth root of x now uh, here natural log inside the parenthesis we have product uh, here product natural log of xy is equal to natural log of x plus natural log of y also natural log of x over y is equal to natural log of x minus natural log of y Therefore, we can write uh, this is equal to uh, sum of m is equal 1 to n natural log of 1 minus mth root of x over 1 plus mth root of x. Okay, uh, then uh, here uh, this integral. So, I'm going to take uh, this one, not i, i n. So uh, now I am going to take i n again. i n is equal to integral from 0 to 1, 1 over x, 1 over x. Now instead of this part, we know this part we can represent by using sigma notation. So we have uh, sum of m is equal 1 to n natural log of 1 minus m root of x over 1 plus m root of x and here dx okay uh, now we know how uh, we can uh, switch sigma notation and integral sign so we have sum of m is equal 1 to n integral from 0 to 1 1 over x natural log of 1 minus m root of x over 1 plus m root of x dx okay uh, next uh, what can we do well uh, now i'm going to take a substitution so i'm going to take m root of x is equal y then we know x is equal y to the m then uh, if we differentiate we have dx is equal to 
general power rule m times y to the m minus 1 d y okay then uh, we can plug in uh, to our integral so we have here uh, sum of m is equal 1 to n integral from uh, limit again we know 0 to 1 uh, limits boundaries are not changed so 0 to 1 uh, 1 over x so 1 over x now we know here y to the m so y to the m natural log of 1 minus m root of x we know y so 1 minus y over 1 plus y uh, but here dx we know dx m times y to the m minus y dy now we know we can uh, simplify a little bit so we have uh, here m is equal 1 to n here m m we can write outside of the integral sign so here m integral from 0 to 1 now we know uh, this y to the m uh, get cancelled but y to the minus 1 we have so 1 over y natural log of 1 minus y over 1 plus y dy well uh, now what is the next step okay here we have natural log of 1 minus y 1 plus y therefore i'm going to recall the uh, Taylor series so i'm going to take natural log of 1 minus y we know this is equal to minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity y to the n over n uh, and we know this is equal to minus y minus y square over 2 minus y cube over 3 minus uh, so on also if we consider natural log of 1 plus y we know uh, this is equal to sum of n is equal 1 to infinity alternative minus n plus 1 y to the n over n so we have y minus y square over 2 plus y cube over 3 minus uh, so on well uh, now here in our integral we have natural log of 1 minus y over 1 plus y but we know natural log of uh, x over y uh, means natural log of x minus y so i'm going to uh, get the uh, here subtraction so we have natural log of 1 minus y over 1 plus y is equal to uh, now we know uh, here minus y minus y so minus 2 always coming so minus 2 times now here y uh, then this part uh, get cancelled so we have uh, y to the third over th 3 plus y to the fifth over here 5 plus so on well uh, also here we have 1 over y so i'm going to multiply by 1 over y so we have 1 over y natural log of 1 minus y over 1 plus y is equal to here minus 2 now if you multiply by y we know this y get cancelled so 1 plus y square over 3 plus y to the fourth power over 5 plus so on okay now uh, we know mm, this one we can uh, write by using sigma notation sum of k is equal 0 to infinity here uh, y to the 2k here 1 uh, 3 5 means 2k plus 1 so 2k plus 1 okay then we can uh, write here um, sum of sum of m is equal 1 to n and uh, here m m integral from 0 to 1 now instead of this part now instead of this part uh, we have minus 2 this part so minus 2 sum of 
k is equal 0 to infinity y to the 2k over 2k plus 1 and here uh, we have dy okay uh, now a little bit simplify minus 2 we can write uh, outside so minus 2 and here m is equal 1 to n here m uh, and uh, the sigma notation and integral sign also we can switch so we have sum of k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over uh, 2k plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 y to the 2k dy okay if we integrate uh, y to the 2k we know y to the 2k plus 1 over uh, 2k plus 1 uh, limit from 0 to 1 if we plug in uh, limit we have 1 over 2k plus 1 so we have yeah minus 2 sum of m is equal 1 to n here m and uh, here uh, k is equal 0 to infinity now this part we know uh, 1 over 2k plus 1 here 1 over 2k plus 1 so we have 1 over 2k plus 1 square <coughs> Well, so almost we are done uh, because here minus 2 uh, this part we know we use many times this one uh, 5 square over 8 and this part we know uh, n over 2 n plus 1 so we have minus 2 n over 2 n plus 1 uh, times 5 square over 8 so if we simplify uh, we have minus 5 square over 8 uh, times n times n plus 1 and we know uh, this is equal to uh, i n i n so here now we generalize our integral i n n we know uh, here uh, we have uh, 4 so uh, 4 terms so if we have five terms it's also uh, almost we done so we know now when n is equal 4 we have uh, minus uh, 5 square over 8 4 4 plus 1 we know uh, 5 uh, so we have minus 5 times 5 square over 2 okay this is the answer for this nice integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching